Hi guys, I'm Miss Oberly. I'm a middle school math teacher at Walsh and I also do the track clubs. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some portraits or art out of things that you find in nature. So like leaves or sticks, things like that. Okay. Um, these are some nature portraits that I made last week. So these are kind of what we will be going for. All right, so now we're gonna head outside and we're gonna look for things that are already on the ground. So I'm not gonna pick any flowers or leaves, but I'm gonna find sticks and flower petals and leaves that are already on the ground. Um, and I'm gonna get more than I think I might use so that I have a lot of options when I'm making my art. All right, so I'm gonna get this branch um, and I'm collecting everything in this bag just to make it easier. Um, Maybe a couple of these leaves. Um, some sticks are always helpful. <laughs> and then this flowering bush I think is nice. So I'm gonna collect some of these yellow flowers that have fallen onto the ground. acorn tops might be helpful. All right, I'm gonna keep walking around my neighborhood and collecting a few more um, branches and leaves and things, but I'll see you guys in a few. All right, so now I've collected everything and I'm going to sort it into a few piles so I can just kind of take inventory of everything that I have. So I'm putting my sticks in one pile green leaves in another pile, um, these like evergreen things in another pile, just so I can lay it all out. All right, so now I've sorted all my supplies and I'm going to use these supplies to make a picture. Um, so I think I'm gonna start with the eyes. Um, and I think these acorns might make cute eyes, so I'm just gonna put them right here. And notice um, we've chosen this white background so that you can really see. Um, you can also do this in your driveway if that's like a plain background um, or on a table or even just set a piece of paper down um, so you can really see your picture and make it stand out from the background. Um, I found this little stick that's like a curve, so I think that's kind of a cute smile. Um, and we're off to a good start. Um, I think I'm gonna use these kind of like dry and, and dead, whatever, I don't know, pine needle things um, as some hair. So I'm gonna arrange these above the eyes as some hair. Um, and I kind of like these as like little earrings or like hair clips or something, these flowers, and then kind of creating the edge of the face, and then I might use some of these things kind of like the rest of his face, or maybe like a beard kind of thing. All right, that's it. <laughs> so here is the nature portrait that I made with the things that I found today. Um, after you guys do your project, I'm wondering if this makes you change the way you think about um, things around you, if you noticed anything different as you were walking around your neighborhoods that maybe you haven't seen before. 
Um, and I want to, I would love to see how your pictures turn out.